And Veterans Day marks an important anniversary in our nation's history. It will be 100 years since the armistice was signed to end World War I. Our Rick Salinger has been looking into Colorado's contribution to the Great War through its people. It was called the Great War. An estimated 16 million people lost their lives, and Coloradans played a great role in its outcome. King Freeman was one of the most amazing men on this planet, and I've seen lots of them. William Bradley Freeman was named after his grandfather. King Freeman commanded one of the largest mixed-race battalions of the war. It has been 100 years, but King Freeman has been in my heart since when I was a little boy. He was deployed in Southeast Asia. In Denver, he was a member of the University Club, which this weekend is honoring more than 90 of its members and staff who served. Names that even today are familiar. Architect Temple Buell, wounded in combat, he also suffered lung problems in that vicious war. Killing by chemistry, liquid fire and poison gas. There was Herman Coors, son of Adolf, George Cranmer, his name now on a Denver park, and Lawrence Phipps Jr., whose family later bought the Denver Broncos. Author Jeffrey B. Miller, researching a book, learned of Maurice Pate, who graduated from Denver's East High School and volunteered in Belgium in 1916. Who went behind those German lines to supervise the food and clothes distribution so the Germans wouldn't take the food. 100 years ago, this war to end all wars concluded but sadly failed to live up to that. 650 Coloradans are recorded as having lost their lives as a result of World War I. They have not been forgotten. At the Veterans Memorial in Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.